A Coleman police officer's quick reaction after a man grabbed his gun may have prevented an extremely dangerous situation. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell obtained video of that situation and joins us live now. And Valerie, walk us through what happened. Muriel, Sergeant Adam Clark with the Coleman Police Department tells me the officer handled the situation exactly how they are trained to. People in Coleman also reacting to the video saying they are proud of the police department. Take a look for yourself. What you see here is Coleman resident Nan Young reacting to this video. This just gets worse and worse. A Coleman police officer was working an off duty job, helping escort a man who was in custody for a parole violation into an area hospital. The man reaches for officer Matt Hollingsworth gun. We have no respect anymore and it doesn't matter who it is. We showed Dennis Ferentz the same video. This is what we need. We need to support our police officers. What they are talking about Hollingsworth's quick reaction. He did everything correctly and he got the situation under control without any further injuries to anybody else. 30 year old John Harville now charged with escape third degree. Having police officers that are vigilant and know what to do and handle the situation is makes me feel safer. Hollingsworth is a field training officer and Sergeant Adam Clark says this is why. And that's the kind of officer that we want training these new guys coming in. The video shared by Coleman police is an example of when law enforcement responds correctly to an escape attempt. Our police officers are, are top notch. Absolutely top notch. You will recall last month in Jefferson County, a much different outcome. The sheriff's office admitting they have concerns. The lone deputy escorting Philip Bradford inside the UAB ambulance bay properly handled the inmate during transportation. That incident caught on camera too. However, after making several requests verbally and in writing, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office telling us today they won't release the video for the public to see. Also, not responding to our repeated request for a copy of policy policies and procedures for transporting inmates within Jefferson County. And we will continue to push for those answers from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. For now, we're live in Coleman, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.